handbook. Does Luke know that you can... Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how I curl my hair. And my hair is incredibly straight. This is my hair air dried, extremely straight. No volume whatsoever. Do you see that? Nothing. A lot of y'all asked me how I curl my hair. So if you're interested in learning how to curl your hair for super straight, literally no volume, type of hair just keep on watching hi guys i forgot to mention this part about how my hair is cut it used to be cut like super straight across no layers and then every time i would curl it it would just be like not good how i cut it or i have i asked my hairstylist aka um usually one of my aunts i asked them to cut it in between a v and a u and then long layers in the back and curtain bangs but for curtain bangs i usually just do them myself like at home because it's just easier and plus my hair grows pretty fast so i'll just cut like guys they're getting kind of long but cut them like an inch below my jawline i don't even know if that is considered curtain bangs but i don't know side bangs whatever and um yeah so that's how my hair is cut and curled these are the pictures that i will put up here uh, you can ask your hairstylist as inspo. This is what I use to show and yeah, I think it looks nice It makes your hair look really flowy and bouncy rather than like straight across. Anyway, I'm rambling Let's get back into the video where you're actually gonna learn how to curl your hair. All right. Bye All right, so first we're gonna start off with the things you need. I have this hair curler it's, um, Curling wand, I think that's what it's called and I preheat it. Preheat? I heat it. Preheat? Yeah, I preheat it to 390 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm not gonna do that because I haven't done that yet. And I think that's important. Oh, also, I have this thing. I got this from Target. It was literally $3 and it's amazing. Like, it's a silicone mat that you can put your hair curler on to rest on anything. And it opens. So you can, like, put it inside. Anyway, I really like it. Okay, so the second thing that you need is a comb. It can be any comb. I just use this, this, or it's a brush, actually. Just make sure your hair is all brushed out. And then the last thing, actually no, second to last thing, is dry shampoo. I'm using this one today. My favorite dry shampoo is the Dove. Let me get it, hold on. Okay, so this is my favorite dry shampoo of all time. It's Dove Brunette Dry Shampoo. It's really good. I like it because I have a darker hair. It doesn't leave a white cast. This is also one I've been using. This one's okay. This smells a little intense, but it gives you a lot of volume. The last thing that you need is a clip. It could be any clip. doesn't matter as long as it clips your hair back. Or you can use a hairband too. All right, so now we wait until my hair curler is um, heated to 390. And then we'll get on with the tutorial. Tutorial. Okay, so the curler is finally dried. The curler is finally heated up. <laughs> what I do is I separate my hair in half like this and then half again. I just clip this guy up. Yay. Now you have this bottom piece. You're just gonna take one inch sections and alternate your curl from going outwards, like out towards the outer, outward, curling, curling it away from your face and curling towards your face. And then I just curl outwards or I guess away from my face. I hold it for like seven to eight seconds. And then the curl should look like this. And then you just keep going with the rest of your hair. Okay, so after I finish this bottom half, I just unclip the top half. For the top half, I curl all of it away from my face. For the top 
top section, I tend to grab sections that are a little less than one inch. So probably like three quarters of an inch. If you can gauge how much hair this is, but this is how much it takes. So I finished the top section, but I left my bangs. Leave that till the last step. Okay, and now I'm gonna do the other side off camera and then also leaving these bang pieces. Okay, I finished the bottom half. So this is what it looks like. It's not there yet, just you wait, okay? So let's do the bangs. Take the bang, you make it like flat like this and then you curl it away from your face and you hold it for like not too long. I would say like four or five seconds. Okay, like that. Some of the pieces don't get curled, but it's fine. Just like pick out the pieces that didn't get all the way curled and then curl them again. There you go. And then I'm gonna do the other side the exact same way. Okay, some of these pieces are too short. Okay, perfecto. Now that all my hair is curled, it looks very piecey and I don't Ooh. like this. What we're gonna do, we're gonna grab our dry shampoo, shake it up, and spray literally all of this in your hair. Really lift up the pieces and like spray. You can already tell that it's like getting super voluminous. <laughs> All right, now flip your hair over and then just zhuzh it up. And that's how I do my hair. It's a little curly, but after a few hours, it'll like die down and look a little more natural. Let me show you guys the back. This is what it looks like from behind. Oh my God. My hair is so black, I don't know if you can see. That's pretty much it, this is all I do. It literally takes me 15 minutes to do all of this. Um, super fast, super easy. And as you can tell, like my hair is so much volume. Like considering how straight and flat and literally no volume my hair gets. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial video thing and um i'll see you guys next time make sure to like comment subscribe and follow my instagram and tiktok as usual um and yeah i'll see you guys next time bye